Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a student at the University of Gloucestershire studying e-marketing. I've taken a look at the topic of persuasion architecture and online experience. The art of persuasion architecture is imperative with e-marketing. It's defined as using design elements such as layout, copy and typography together with promotional messages to encourage site users to follow particular paths and specific actions rather than giving them the complete choice of their navigation. Companies' websites should take on a range of techniques that get their customers involved and persuade them to stay on their page. There are always some websites that lack this effort of keeping their viewers intrigued and retaining them on their page. I aim to evaluate the important factors that should be taken into consideration when developing online websites for your business, focusing mainly on e-retailers. Now with the exponential growth of the use of the internet, it widens the market for online sales. Many companies take to this platform to maximise their business. Online marketing is a pull media, where the customers have decided to search actively for what they want rather than being pushed by advertisements shown on TV, radio and billboards. Through time, customers have increasingly high up online expectations and companies must be aware of this to meet their needs. They now expect higher standards in terms of service, convenience, speed of delivery, competitive prices and choice. They now are also expecting added help to buy by presenting them with all the relevant information necessary. For example, online clothing websites. Information is provided about the sizes, material and furthermore giving recommendations of other products that go together, which is an effective method of persuading the customers to buy more through the use of easy navigation. Buying online is also used due to increased convenience, which customers recognise the increased amount of choice and easy browsing. The internet minimises the customer costs, such as time spent travelling to a store to purchase a product. Companies must facilitate to offering customers good deals on delivery as competition is high, and this can set them apart from the rest. Customers make their decision on the site within seconds, shown in a study. Therefore, it is imperative to give an outstanding first impression on your website's homepage to keep the customers on the site. Websites must use the correct colour for what they're selling. Aesthetics or visual appeal factors may be detected first, and these could influence how users judge subsequent experience. This leads to the evaluation of the product. This is called the halo effect. With a positive first impression, customers may choose to ignore the minor errors later on, therefore demonstrating the positive enforcement regarding the first impression. Researchers have found that the online store's overall appearance influences the customer's motivation and attitudes, while design elements are also important cues of website perceived credibility. The online customer experience is based around five components their usability, interactivity, trust, aesthetics and the marketing mix. The website's design and perceived quality is of importance to the consumer. Based on the standard of this, it can be argued that the first impressions from the landing page will directly affect the customer when they will decide their future actions, either leaving the page due to lack of trust or further browsing. These impressions may have impact on perceived quality of the products, proving it imperative to invest money in correctly and effectively creating the online presence. This can furthermore affect the customer's trust in the organisation, thus influencing actions taken by the consumer. The job is to entice customers through the correct use of the web interface and web atmospheric. Different businesses will choose to have different structures to accommodate the correct navigation for what they offer. There are many sites that aim to persuade the customers to make an action by giving information about the company, such as service businesses that do not require online purchasing, but perhaps booking appointments, for example, a garage booking an MOT. Structures range from a pipeline structure, a guiding pathway structure, or a tree hub structure, ensuring web site adopts the right tool for its customers to browse with ease for what they want, also displaying alternatives to give added support. The navigational structure is crucial when assessing how well your business is doing. The lack of navigational support was cited as one of the 10 most common website mistakes in web design. 
leading to customer disorientation, which in turn affects the customer's intention of coming back. By increasing usability, retention is increased as well as the trust, therefore becoming more engaged. The issue that businesses may be selling exactly what the customer is looking for, however, they were unable to find it due to the lack of navigational structure, demonstrating the importance of clear pathways. Due to the increased risk of purchasing online, customers rely on the information provided on the website to ensure them that what they're buying is worth the financial risk. The websites must ensure that their content is useful and develops trust to the business by including information in delivery and bank transactions that eliminate card fraud. The information available will encourage the customers to purchase by relieving their worries of the risks involved. However, information overload can have a negative impact and increases confusion. So having a website positively impacts a business's image. It makes e-commerce sales possible, increases net profit and influences customer perceptions of the firm. Above all, it's clear to see the significance of different techniques that keep customers on the website and purchase the products. The first impression is significantly the most important and crucial factor of an online website. It's the first contact point with the customer and plays in the role of carrying the viewer deeper into the website. The perceived quality follows from this first initial thought of the company through the design element, which arguably is imperative in the process of grabbing the attention and demonstrating competitive advantage in the market. However, there are many other factors that play into this, such as the unique selling point the website has to offer, such as customer support, online chat apps that allow customers to easily query directly to the company with any questions, and as a tool to measure the success of the website as to what it isn't offering and what it must improve on. Without adopting the correct navigation Without adopting the correct navigational structure, the customers are at risk of being disorientated, affecting the whole customer online experience and shedding a bad light on the company. Thank you for watching my vlog. I hope it has been informative and has demonstrated the importance of persuasion architecture within online marketing.